What's up, peeps? Uh, I'm Alex, if you're new. Um, I got some new stuff to play with. New products, makeup products. So I just figured we would do like a first impressions try on type of situation. It's basically that. I've got some stuff from, some new stuff from Give Beauty, including contour palettes, uh, highlighters. I am going to be trying this situation that I, uh, you may have seen in my um, makeup I got in Japan video from the brand Kose, Kose maybe. Um, I'm finally gonna be trying that. I have some new lip products from Fenty, some brow stuff. So we're just gonna get right into it. So I waited to try this because I assumed that this was a, like a primer that had uh, SPF. Um, it's SPF 50. This is the same brand Kose that the um, Sakise, I think, uh, sunscreen is from. So it's actually not. This is called the Comfort Makeup Cream. It is, uh, it's like a BB cream, essentially, that has SPF. And the color looks really nice for my skin tone. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess we'll um, use this as a foundation. Maybe a little bit on the neutral side, like ever so slightly more like peach, but um, I think it'll work. So I'm gonna do like I did in that video with my other tinted um, SPF. And I'm just going, going to apply this with my fingers. I don't, BB creams honestly like kind of confuse me. I just don't really know how I'm supposed to use them. Especially if it has sunscreen in it. I'm like, how much do I apply? Like it's not a tinted sunscreen, you know, but it does contain sunscreen. I want to get the most out of the sunscreen. Already the color looks great. <laughs> it's like a little bit more on the neutral side. Like if you compare, you can kind of see like a little bit more of like that reddish tinge compared to my like olive green neck, but um, I think it'll be good. Feels really nice, very, very soft. Since this has SPF, I am going to take it around my eyes. Feels like it would um, blend really nicely with a brush. I don't, I'm always just like hesitant to use a sponge that contains like a wet, you know, like a damp sponge because I feel like it's going to mix with the SPF and render it ineffective. It's just like when you get SPF involved, things get complicated, <laughs> you know? So I did one little squirt. I'm gonna do just like a little bit more along my jaw. Just wanna make sure that I am, this is much better. <laughs> this color is so much better than the, um, what was that that I used? Oh, La Roche-Posay, the number two. I actually did order number one because a few of you said the color was really nice. Um, and the formula just seemed really nice as well, but this actually might be, might be better. It was expensive though. I got it on Yes Style and it was like 55, I think, $55. And I was like, hmm, okay. Everything was so much, like the US dollar just goes so much further when you're in, actually in Japan. So I'm inside filming all day. Um, so I'm not wearing sunscreen on the rest of my face, but if I was going to use this as like an actual sunscreen, then I would probably use a, Sunscreen like the Paula's Choice, what's it called? Something, resilience, resistance? I can't remember. On like my neck and my ears and then use this on my face. So I am going to just use a little bit more of this around my eyes so that I'm getting full SPF coverage. Again, I'm gonna be inside all day with artificial lighting, but this is how I would use it if I were going out. Okay, well that looks really nice. Yeah, and it like, it even though it is a little bit on the neutral side compared to my olive skin, uh, it's, pre it's a pretty complimentary color, I would say. Like you really have to be looking to see any kind of a difference. I would say this is like a fantastic match. Okay, I'm gonna try some new brow products that I'm a little bit nervous about. So I have a few. I have um, this Milk Kush Brow Shadow Stick, which is intriguing but I am confused by. Um, and I just have a feeling I'm not gonna like it, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, so basically what it is, is it looks like a little eyeshadow stick. Um, that's like kind of flat. Do you see? It's a little bit wide. I don't know. And then it does come with like a little um, fat spoolie. And then um, I have used these in the past, the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gels. And then I also have this microblading uh, brow pen from Ciate, which might be a little bit red. It's kind of warm. 
Um, but it's one of these guys where it's got the comb-like bristles, you know, multiple, multiple situation. Okay, so here's the Ciate brow pen. Here is MJ, the shadow, the eyebrow shadow, whatever. Uh, wait, which one's this? This one is, this is MJ in the tinted brow gel, and then this is Herb in the tinted brow gel from Milk. So these are all Milk, and then this is the Ciate. So... Oh, we're gonna try all of them, because, like, whatever. I guess I'm just gonna, like, start putting it down. I'm just, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna turn it, angle it for the tail. Okay. Color's a little warm, but I'm not mad at it. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Ooh, okay. And turning it, <laughs> it like really, um, I don't know, it's kind of fat, so it's a little bit difficult to draw exactly the shape that you want. I'm really accentuating my arch here. Ziva, do you mind not doing that right now? Color's not horrible. It is a little bit warm. I'm gonna brush it out. Ziva, I cannot have you do that every single time I film. Buddy, <laughs> you have to stop, please. You have to stop. Go lay in your bed. I don't know, I'm not super wild about the color. If you have thick brows and you just like are one of those people who's quick on the go, you need like a, just a color throughout. <laughs> I gotta kick her out. I gotta kick her out. You need to leave. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, go in this box or something. All right, I'm just gonna use a little bit of the, uh, whatever this is called, comfort makeup cream to clean up and shape because it's just too general right now for me. I never do this, but if I feel like I need a guide. Okay, Ziva. All right, I'm gonna come back to the rest of the brow. Um, colors once we've done like the rest of the face. So to contour and shape the face, I'm going to use this new palette from Give Beauty. This is the Pick It Up Cream Contour Powder Bronzer Duo <laughs> in the shade Heaten Up. Oh, that's a strong scent. What does it smell? <sighs> it smells summery, it smells like fake mango or something. A little bit powdery, I don't know. So I'm gonna use this to contour, I think. I'm gonna start off with the cream product, which I believe is the bronzer. And then this product, I think, is to contour. I don't know, it looks pretty decent for like pale skin. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Bronzer does look a little bit like uh, real warm, uh, red toned for my skin, but we'll see. Do some shaping around the forehead. Seems like a very nice formula. I'm not like so in love with the color, but I think it works. It's like a little bit on the neutrally side. Like, I don't know, I tend to prefer a little bit more warmth, a little bit more of a yellowy orange tone to my bronzer. Blending very nicely over the comfort cream though. It also seems to have enough moisture in it so that it blends nicely over a cream without being like very oily looking or feeling. You know, that's, smell is strong though. Smell is strong. The scent kind of reminds me of like, um, you know how Too Faced makes everything like so scented? That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like it's just like a little too much for my personal taste. I'm gonna take this uh, color since it's pretty warm, just like loosely along the jawline. And then I'll do a little bit of refining with my, uh, with the contour color. And then using that same brush, but a different one. Uh, oh, it's right here. I'm gonna go into the contour powder. Just build up a little bit. I kind of feel like the bronzer is neutral enough that like it, I don't really need a contour. Like it does enough structural shaping, maybe just on like the lower half of my face. Sorry about the rings, that was annoying. It's not bad though. 
Nice color. I guess I will use the cream and the powder for like around my nose and lips and stuff. It's nice, it's not too pigmented so that it feels like, oh, you know, I'm going in with way too much or something. But um, it has enough that it feels like a little bit goes a long way, like it'll, it'll last. Oh my God, I haven't done concealer yet, I forgot. <laughs> Just wiped off my brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the powder, just a tiny bit to refine in those areas that I really think need it. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the scent. It's just very intense and it's lingering. Or maybe it's just that I can smell it on my brush and it's bothering me. I don't know. It's just kind of a lot. Those are nice colors though. I do think that they look nice on my face, but I don't know if you can tell, but because I'm using like more neutrally colors overall on my whole face, it does look like if you look at this as a whole next to my neck, you can see more of like that yellowy green tone in my neck, which isn't the end of the world. It's not like so noticeable. You really have to be looking, but it's just something to keep in mind. Okay, I'm gonna use for concealer that Luna concealer just cause it worked so well with the other one. Um, it is quite light though, and I just don't really need that much brightening. So I think I'm just gonna use this underneath my eyes. And it was pretty full coverage. So yeah, just right there, I think. That um, comfort cream, I don't know what else to call it, did such a good job, like evening out my skin tone and just making it look really nice. I'm using my Refer 36 brush. I'm gonna start with the outer part because I don't need as much coverage there. This is a little bit more of a, like a highlighting situation. Uh, I'm using a brush once again because the concealer also contains SPF. I think it's only SPF 30. Yeah, SPF 34. So no color corrector, just going right on top of that comfort cream, focusing it right in the hollow of the eye. Oh, that's nice. God, I love this combination. I'm like so obsessed with these like BB cream things now. Like fuck foundation, dude. I'm over it. I'm kind of into my um, overarched brows too. Not that they're overarched. It's just kind of like my arch. The concealer is a little bit light to do concealing of this situation. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit of the comfort cream on the back of my hand. And let's see, I need like a little blender guy. I'm just gonna use the Sigma E42 brush, just a little blending brush. I'm gonna pick up like a tiny, I don't know if you can see it, tiny little amount of that comfort cream and just pat over those areas. Seems like pretty much the only area that really needs it. I'm just gonna gently like pat on top My skin looks fucking great. I love it. I'm so happy with this right now. Love, love, love. Okay. That worked pretty well. I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm gonna use the um, Givenchy Prism Libre. Prism Libre. Same brush. I'm just gonna pat gently so that that doesn't go anywhere. Not too bad, not too bad. Those were, you know, kind of an eyesore before. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the brows. So, I don't know, I'm nervous about this. I guess I'm gonna use both of the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gels. Again, I have MJ and Herb. So Herb is quite dark, which I'm gonna use toward the tail of the brow. And then MJ is a lot lighter. I'm gonna use that to start off with at the front of the brow. And then, since I probably will have some sparse areas in the tail, I'm gonna go in with the Ciate brow, whatever this is, micro blade brow. I'm just gonna brush everything forward to start. <laughs> New brow products make me uncomfortable. Because if you saw my last brow video, once you got it figured out, it's like, I don't wanna switch it up, man. I'm really trying to like brow gels, but I just usually Okay, that doesn't look too bad. 
it's just warm. It's warm for my taste. But the brows are looking, uh, they're looking thick and they're looking filled. You know what I mean? And very uneven. Very uneven. Then I'm gonna go in with herb. Herb. Just a little bit on the tail. The second half of the brow. <laughs> this is definitely not, not my favorite brow look. I feel like these products are for um, people who just want like a really, really either like a very quick natural brow or they just already have like perfect brows. Um, I just don't feel that way about my brows. I don't feel that way about my brows. I feel like the hair has got a little out of control, so I'm just shaping a little bit. I should probably trim them at some point soon. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. So in the very, like the bottom, I just hate it when the bottom part of my brow is like very jagged looking or very like wavy. Um, I just think it looks strange. So now I'm gonna go in with the Ciate Micro Blade Brow. This is in the shade Soft Brown, I think. When I ever, when, when I ever, whenever I use a new one, I always kind of like pat it on a paper towel or something so that excess can be soaked up because it can just be like a lot sometimes. Like it can really, really bleed. In fact, it looks like it's bleeding quite a bit. <sighs> okay, ready? What the fuck am I doing? I need a mirror closer. Okay, that's nice. It works pretty well. It complements these colors pretty well. You know, I'm not mad at it. Am I making these more even? I can't tell. Okay, the finished product of that, not bad. Not bad, I'm actually not mad at it. It doesn't look like, I mean, you'll have to let me know what you think. Sometimes when I film this, like in person, it looks great and then I'll look at it on camera and I'm like, what happened? <laughs> um, it is warmer than I typically go but I actually think it looks nice on my skin tone. Yeah, I'm not mad at it, I'm not mad at it. It's a little bit heavy in the front, a little heavier than what I usually do, but it's not bad, not bad. Thoughts? All right, I'm just gonna set with the tiniest amount of he elf, health? <laughs> elf Halo Glow Powder uh, in light underneath my eyes, just so this doesn't move. Combo is actually looking really, really nice. Once again, didn't use a color corrector. You know, just the comfort cream and that concealer. I really like that. And then using my um, Sigma Skin Perfector brush and once again, the Prism Lee powder, I'm just gonna put this, a little bit of this in the very center of my face where I get like a little bit of oil. So just my T-zone basically. Beautiful, love. Love it. Very happy with this so far. Okay, I just did my blush off camera because I didn't have a new one and I was filming something else. Look how pretty that color looks. So before I go in with highlighter, which is the last product that I'm gonna be trying, uh, I wanna use these new lip tints. Lip tint, is that what it is? Fenty Beauty came out with new shades in the Poutsicle, uh, which is a hybrid, hybriding. What? Hydrating lip stain, bro. Right before I started filming again, <laughs> I spilled my green tea all over my carpet. So <laughs> that's how my day's going. Um, anyway, she came out with Gem and I, Gemini, cute, and Fuchsia, Fuchsia Wife. Stop. <gasps> Future Wife, I love it. Okay, so one is a little bit more berry toned. Pretty. The other one, a little more like blackberry toned. I don't know, it's like a little bit more purple. I'm gonna use both, because that's how I do. So I'm gonna start off with the more purpley one, which is Gem and I. Love the names, love. I'm gonna start off with this in the um, outer perimeter of my lips. See this rummaging through a box right now? So 
since this color is a little darker, I'm using it as kind of like my contour color. And then I'm gonna go in with Fuchsia Wife right in the center. I'm just gonna let those sit. I want them, I want the uh, stain, stain power. So I'm gonna let those sit while I do the rest of my makeup, which is just applying highlighter. Uh, so I'm gonna finish off with the Platinum Cowgirl, wait, Check My Glow highlighter from Give Beauty. This is in the shade Platinum Cowgirl. And we've just got like a lot of um, pretty like pale gold, peach and pink colors in here. So you're meant to kind of like swirl them together. Here's like a nice swatch. Seems like a very, very, very finely milled formula. Really nice sheen, you know? Kind of just looks like my skin tone, which I like. So I'm just gonna use the Rare Beauty highlighter brush. Swirl it all up. Oh, a lot. And then just dust on the tops of the cheekbones. Ooh, very nice. Oh, I like, I like. And that's very nice, very nice formula. Pretty color. I definitely think that this would be appropriate for pale to light skin. And it's nice, it's pretty soft, but it's definitely like a highlight, you know? Like, I can really see those cheekbones, <laughs> but it's also, um, it's not like too heavy. And I really swirled in there. So if you want it to be even softer than this, you can kind of sheer it out. Oh, I like it. It also has kind of a scent, but it's a lot more subtle. It has, the, I think, the same scent or similar as the uh, contour palette, but it's much more subtle. Like I really have to get my nose in there, which I prefer. I like that you have the options too, like the little thing. So for my inner corner, my inner corner eyes, the inner corner of my eyes or like the tip of my nose, I can just go into like the pale gold for like those really light areas. I like that, that's a nice highlighter. Nice and soft. All right, I'm gonna blot lip color which is looking quite juicy right now oh god it's so beautiful when it's blotted because as far as lip stains go it works fast like it really does it does it you know what i mean so gorgeous and like what a pretty combination i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a lip liner to kind of like finish it. I guess I'll keep in the purpley theme. I'll use um, Maybelline Gone Grayish, which is like a little bit of a cool toned kind of like purpley grayish. Just gonna use like a really light amount of this to give the lip a little structure. Okay, I'm obsessed with that. Love the colors, love the combination. Think it's stunning. Um, obviously like you can leave it glossy, like you can go in with lip liner first and then go in with that. But I have this gloss that I wanted to try. This is from, I finally picked up some stuff from Trixie Cosmetics, okay? I'm gonna be filming an eye look with it. I'm very excited. This is the gloss in Angel Cat. So I wanted to give this a shot and I also just thought that it would look really pretty on this color. So we're gonna go right in. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, glitter. Oh my God, this reminds me of a Dior gloss that I had <laughs> when I was in high school. Also, um, a lip stain, that's the benefit, like nothing comes off. God damn, dude. <sighs> I mean, it's very glittery, so there's like a lot of, um, like you can feel the little glitter bits. But like, is that a lip or is that a lip? You tell me. Damn. Mm, it literally reminds me exactly of this Dior lip gloss that I had. I think I got it as like a little sample. It was the most glittery thing ever and I used to just drench my lips in it. Like I loved it so much. Gorge. Obsessed. Absolutely love. Goes beautifully with my blush, just saying. I'm just gonna wipe off the doe foot. People get mad at me when I don't show that. Wiping it off so I don't ruin the gloss. Cute packaging too. All right guys, that was all the new stuff that I wanted to try. 
Uh, final thoughts, the lip is the win. It's fantastic, I'm obsessed with it. Beautiful, gloss, love. Lip stains, love, love. Um, very happy with this. I think it's really, really nice. Beautiful tone. Yeah, I think it looks really nice on my skin. I'm happy with it. Nice finish and everything. I'm definitely gonna be using this more, for sure. Really, really pretty. Uh, the brow products, like I said, not my vibe, not products that I'm gonna be using on the reg, okay? But if you're looking for like individual products or a combination of products, Ziva, you're being too much of a troublemaker. If you're looking for a combination or individual products that are gonna be quick and easy because you have like full brows already, maybe you just need like a few spots filled in, or maybe like you have very, very blonde or light hairs and you need that definition, but uh, you need to create like a little bit more structure and shadow underneath your brow hairs, then I think the shadow stick would be really good for that. Obviously like, you know, tinted brow gels, they're really good. They have fibers and everything. So they're nice if you have, once again, fuller brows um, or like an even distribution of hair, but you need more color and it will thicken them up a bit. And then the micro blading, <laughs> is that what it's called? Micro blade? Micro blade brow from um, Ciate, actually quite nice. Um, I'm not like the biggest fan of like the comey ones just cause I like to really create those individual hairs, but I don't know if you have like, if you're strapped for time and you don't want to like draw each individual hair, it's a good option. Decent color. Wait, what else did we try? Oh yeah, the contour palette. And so the highlight gorge love, I love that it's like a beautiful highlight for the skin, but it's not super duper intense. You can definitely like build it up and sheer it out. Like that's nice, you know, nice light amount of pearl pretty colors. Contour palette is, I like. I don't know how often I'm gonna be grabbing it just because the colors are not perfect for my skin tone. Uh, and also the scent is just like a, a lot. That's just a lot, it's a lot for me. Uh, I don't love that. So, but the formulas seem very nice. So if you like the scent, if you go into Sephora, I think I'm assuming it's at Sephora. If you, you know, swatch it, the colors seem good for you and you're like down with the scent. The formulas are really nice. Really, I don't like that scent. I don't like it. Um, all right, guys, I hope that this was helpful in some way. If you're interested in any of those products, let me know if there are any new products that are launching that you would like me to review or test or whatever. Um, yeah, let me know what you wanna see next, man. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up, subscribe, all the stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. This lip kind of clashes with my like brown ass top, but hopefully it goes with the, uh, I gotta go, I gotta film an eyeshadow look. I gotta fix these brows. All right, I gotta go, bye.